Hello everybody, this is William Frisbee, welcome back to more Let's Play Paper Part 2, The Thousand Year Door. And last part, we stopped here at Riverside Station after figuring out that Duplis was the one behind the sticky, yummy threat all along. In this episode, we're going to be going through uh, Riverside Station for reasons that are about to be explained to us. There was, this is Riverside Station, we've stopped to refuel. There's a quite draw... eh. There's a quite drawbridge here from when Pleasure Boats cruise the canal. But it hasn't been used since the canal was dried up and turned to a pasture. Okay. Ah, oh, my dear Luigi, our suspect was not only a fake zip toad, he was some monstrous being in exactly in a white sheet, which was exactly as I suspected. No, you didn't. If you did, you would have admitted it earlier. Too bad he gave us a slip like that, though. It was a rather slippery slort. What is a slort? We could have questioned him about all that bottom business. And he goes off on his own, I bet. Maybe you are the one that I need to talk to. Oh no, what will we do? Someone's looked at the drawbridge. The tra train can't leave the station like this. Um, if we go high fast enough, we could probably jump it. Though uh, that would probably be stupid. I saw a suspicious looking shadowy person wearing a hat go into that station. He must have gone down to the bridge control room to flip the switch there. But that switch hasn't been used in so long, I don't know where the control room is. So, um, it's probably against protocol to ask a passenger to do this, but... Since you are the famous Mario and all, could you go and find that... throw that switch? Maybe? Oh, sure. Anybody who gets my name right really gets my respect. Really? That would be super! Well, here's the station key. Yeah, that's exactly what I needed. And you see, Pennington? He got my name right. You got my name wrong. That's why I don't respect you. Along other reasons. Anyway, as you can see, there's a badge there that we can't really get right now. That'll become important later. I'm just thinking feeling there's a star piece in here, but I guess not. Now, this area is sort of easy, but at the same time, it's really annoyingly long. Or, it feels long, but it's not really that long, you know. I can't figure out which one's the one. I'm going to get coops for some reason. Go in here, and there should be a switch. Yep. Which will release some stairs for us. Yay! Out of place stairs. Or I should say out of color. I don't know. <sighs> Sorry. Tired today for some reason. Managed to get the day off, along with tomorrow, because I have Easter break today, yay. So, ah. I think we haven't fought these guys, so I might as well introduce them. These are the Rough Puffs. I think these guys can electrify themselves. I don't remember how much HP they have. They have quite a bit, I bet. About seven or so, like we did last time. Yep, there they go. And I think when they're like that, you can't harm them with jumps or your hammer, so it'd probably be best to use either Earth Trimmer or an item here. So, and I really don't think I can probably do anything about them right now. Alright. Aww. That was probably enough to get rid of them. And I just realized I left Coops down there. And he didn't get hurt. Hooray for anti-friendly fire. Whatever. Hey, where'd you come from? I didn't see you coming. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm cutting this fight. Uh, hopefully we won't be running into another fight. Thank you. Thought there was a shine or star piece there. Having a hard time keeping my S's right. Now, this is a weird puzzle. This thing has a bit of an odd pattern. I don't really remember exactly how the pattern goes, but if you kind of just jump across each one as they go along, it shouldn't be that big a deal. Um, see, I know there's this sh star piece in here. I keep wanting to say Shine Spread for some stupid reason today. It's right there. There we are. Now, this thing right here, we just have to... The way that we get the keys, that we wait on this gear until till that gear is right there. Then, using the hoops, we get to get the key. There we go. 
and keep allowing us to progress forward and blah 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 blah. Sorry if my commentary seems a bit weird today because, let's be quite honest, I don't really know if I really should have recorded today. I just didn't really feel like it. But I wanted to get some recording done so that way I wouldn't have to worry about later. And also because I'm kind of running low on material and need some stuff right now. Or at least in my opinion I do. And we can actually skip this whole entire area where we're trying to go down these stairs and we can actually just come all the way down here through that and get a badge along the way. Now all the way that we get through the stores that we use for to get rid of these posters which take freaking forever to get through. Come on. Now I've always wondered what it is Mario is holding on to. It looks like it's her hand but I always thought it looked like he was holding a roll of tissues or something but I don't know. Whoa. Um, I don't know how I'm going to deal with these guys. I'm going to get out Bobbery just in case. Yeah, there we go. And going down this hole is the only way that we can progress forward. I think we're supposed to go this way. I think this is the right way, but I'm starting to think I should have... Yep, I should have gone the other way. Traps. These pokies are poisonous pogies. I don't remember what they're exactly they're called. But if they hit you, they can poison you, unlike the other pokies, so these guys are more dangerous to be around and blah. This, that's where we're supposed to go, I think. And hey, a badge I don't use. I just collect them for no reason. Darn it. Let's see, I remember there being another item in this area that we could get, but if I, memory serves me correctly, it's surrounded by a bunch of enemies and can be very annoying to get, and... There we go. Don't have to worry about fighting those jerks. Come on. There we go. Jump, 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 and go through this little tunnel to reach the exit. Hopefully, yes. Oh, is this a dried shroom? Never mind. It wasn't useful. Now. Alright. See that key right up there? We can't get that right now. We need another item. I wonder what we're going to get today. Du, 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 du. Hey, Goombas! We haven't seen you in a while. This is gonna be quick. Alright, that fa uh, fight was pretty quick, but we have to de actually destroy all the Goombas here in order to open up these blocks, which will reveal some a secret. What kind of secret? You'll find out as soon as I kill all these guys. Alright, after destroying all those enemies, we get switches with numbers on them. Now, these numbers correspond to how many times we're supposed to hit them. Three means you hit it three times. And then, that means hit it ten times. But you can just keep hitting it until it turns red, and that'll be good enough. And besides, I don't think they really do anything if um, you hit it again, so there's no real point really being concerned about it. I don't really know what I was trying to say there. And doing that opens up some stairs, and I thought there was something all the way over here, but could be wrong. Wait. I feel like there's something over here. So forgive me for probably stalling. Let's see. I guess not. This seems kind of weird though that we have like this wall and walkway here when we have stairs right there. So it's... Ooh. Try Sprite. This seems kind of odd that they would have that there for no given reason. And no, oh, no, we can't get out whatever rule we do. Ultra Boots! That's what we'll do. There's Toadette again. She's explaining how to use Ultra Boots. This time, instead of um, just jumping really high, this time we can charge our jump and jump extra high. Ooh. And doing the spring jump is just like doing the... Um, if I'll just do it. There we go. The su doing the spring jump is exactly like doing the super hammer... Sp spinning hammer... Spinner hammer... It's the same thing as doing the spin hammer thing, it's just that, yeah. I didn't mean to say do it one more time, I meant to say no, I've got it, but I guess I was being an idiot, not paying attention. So yeah. This is our semi-final item, yay. Or I should say our semi-final penultimate upgrade, whatever. Now if I could just do it here, where there's oil, and there is 
bars that we can hang on to, on to and girder. My commentary is being pretty poor. I apologize. This is that my throat is being kind of weird today, and like I said, I haven't really felt like commentating. I just did it because I need to, among other reasons. I also just wanted to get this area done as soon as I can. I really hate this area. Get this key. Get it and leave. I really don't like this area for no reason, for no explainable reason. No, I'm actually quite pretty close to getting done. I don't know why I was having such a hard time saying that. Oh, hey. You know, I'm probably just going to cut to where we get to, like, the area that we were just... The first area that we're in where there's the elevator, because that's where we need to be. So I'll just cut to where I get there. So we'll be back in a minute. Alright, something really quick I should mention is that there's a shine spray right down there. I don't know why I missed it earlier. I don't know. And it looks like this shine... Okay. I don't know what I was trying to say there, but there's a Thunder Rage on top of there. And I think I'm just going to keep going because... I think right past these next two doors is the area we need to be in. Just right past here. Yep. See, this elevator, we use the elevator key on it, and we'll be able to go downstairs and flip the switch that we need in order to fix the draw bridge. Ugh. Being very bad today. I don't know. Oh, what the heck is those things? Whoa, Gonzalez! What in the world are these little monsters? Um, I have no clue, and I'd rather not, simply because of the fact that they have no body. I don't know. I'd rather not know what the heck those things are. Oh, what do you know? They're hiding the switch this whole entire time. Spawned out nothing. Okay, that's fascinating. And lo and behold, that was the switch that we needed this whole entire time. Hey, wait a second. I never noticed this before, but see those stairs? Those were that's where we just came from. And if what that toad said was right, this drawbridge and area was used in order to be for a canal, for ships and stuff. Then why the heck is there a wall there? Seriously, think about it for like a few minutes. You have stairs that are pretty much right in the way of where a ship would go, and a ship would need to go past this in order to get out into probably the open sea or whatever. So you're essentially blocking them off from going through and stuff. That doesn't seem very productive. It seems rather pointless. Maybe I'm missing something here. I don't know. But, oh, wow. Well, whatever. Anyway, I'm going to cut this episode off here because I think I spent enough time in that area. I'm just glad I got through this whole entire area in one episode. So I'm William Frisbee. I'll see you in the next episode and get when we get back on the ship. Bye.